Hello and welcome to One Minute Maya. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to bake ambient occlusion onto a texture map. Okay, so we've got a pretty simple asset here. It's a good one I've been working on. It's just the um, low poly model without any detail. So if I take a quick render, as you can see it's got an ambient occlusion shader on it. If you want to know how to do the ambient occlusion shader, I've got another tutorial that I'll put in, in the description for you guys to follow. First thing you need to do is to have a model with UVs. So as you can see my model's got UVs here. So the ambient occlusion can be baked onto it. Okay. So we need to go into the render panel, go into lighting and shading, and then go down to batch bake mental ray and click the square. Okay. Well I've already got the settings already set up. Because I do it quite a lot. And uh, we need to make sure it's on selected texture, single object, bake shadows, perspective camera. You can either decide whether it wants to make a new shader with the ambient occlusion attached or use your existing shade that you've got on your model. Um, you need to make sure the colour mode is set to occlusion. Um, find this works pretty well, occlusion rays. And here, name your occlusion map and then set its um, resolution and your file format. TIFF works pretty well for me. When baking multiple objects, you can either set it so it bakes to one map or multiple maps. And I don't think you really need to bother with anything else with these settings. So once you've done that, what you need to do is click Convert. Now it's going through the process of calculating the ambient occlusion and baking it out onto a texture map. This may take a while, depending on the size of the map that you make. If you're making a 4K map, it's going to take a long time. And a lot of the time, it'll stop at 5% or 0%. And if you click, it's going to crash. So just leave it to think. It is working. You've just got to be patient. I think I've done an ambient occlusion map before. It's taken an hour. It is a long process, and it is doing it. To cancel it, you've done something wrong in the settings, or you don't want uh, to make it anymore, just press escape, and that'll cancel it. Alright, so that's finished. I uh, went ahead and cancelled it and re-rendered a 1K resolution texture just for demonstration's sake. So once you rendered out the map, you should be able to find the texture within your project files. If you go to Render Data, Mental Ray, Light Maps, and there's our big dark map. If we open it in Photoshop, and now here we have the ambient occlusion map within Photoshop. If you're unsure about where your map is, a quick way of finding it is if you go to the script editor, and as you can see here, this is where the map's been baked out to. So if you highlight this part of the script, copy, and then just click here and paste the address, and you get to it straight away. There we go. And that's how you bake ambient occlusion.